Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this little decal and these two wood hangers from Dollar Tree as well as some stir sticks. I removed the twine hangers from these wood pieces from Dollar Tree. Marked off one inch and two inch markings on the wood pieces and then used a straight edge on those markings and my razor blade to make some lines. I just took my razor blade, went against that edge on my markings a few times just to make it indented to make these pieces look like shiplap. Next I put those wood hangers together and then took a stir stick, it's a 12 inch stir stick I got from Home Depot, made a marking at the end of those hangers and then took some snips and cut those on the markings. And I did one for both ends. So I needed two stir sticks total. And then I put some wood glue on the end of one of the hangers and glued it to the other one. And then I added those stir sticks on the ends of both of these to cover up that holes and I glued them down with wood glue. And then I just added some painter's tape across the center of those to hold them until the glue dries and then some clamps on top of the stir sticks. After I let that dry for a little while, I used home decor wax from Folk Art brush it on, and then used a baby wipe to blend it. And I did this to the entire thing. After that was completely dry, I added some water to the sign and used white chalk paint by Waverly and brush that on. I use the water if the chalk paint is really thick. This one's pretty thick, so it's the water helps spread it out. So I just did a light coating covering the entire thing, just so you can see some of that antique wax showing through. After I had that dry, I just went back through with my razor blade and touched up those markings I made to make it look like it's slatted. I then added Mod Podge to the entire front. Then I took this decal from Dollar Tree and used the word gather and just place that down on top of the Mod Podge. And then just smoothed it out with my fingers to get rid of any wrinkles or bubbles. And then I took a couple of these other pieces from the same decal, these little leaves, and placed two, one on each end of the word. I then used my heating tool to dry that Mod Podge. And once it was dry, I did an outer layer covering the center of my little sign. And then used my heating tool again to dry that layer. And that is it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.